Hi everyone, Stephanie Saxema here. Today I'm going to show you how to create subtitles for your videos. At the moment, I'm working on a, a short documentary called Live Edge that I shot in Dominica um, back in March 2017, yeah, this year. So I'm creating French subtitles for this film and I thought that could be nice to just share my process. As you can see here, I have my subtitles ready. <laughs> it's almost like people don't choose to be artists. Turns out to be what seems to be taking all of your attention and your interests. I'm just gonna show you how to do those subtitles. So here I have a short sequence uh, with an image and a voiceover with around three sentences. And so to create the captions, you need to go in File, New, Captions. You can also find it at the bottom. You click on New Item and you can find it. So you have different choices. CEA 600A, TA 700A, Teletex, Open Subtitling, and Open Captions. You really have a choice between closed captions and open captions. Closed captions are captions that can be turned off and on. So let's say that you have, uh, you have your film already done and you want to create subtitles, but in a different file, like a SRT file, that can be opened in um, softwares like VLC, for example, um, open separately uh, from the video. That's what you want to create. Open captions are kind of embedded in the video. They cannot be turned off and they're always there with your image, with your video. And that's what we're gonna create today. I'm gonna use today open captions. You need to make sure that the time base is the same than your sequence video, um, 20 FPS and same thing for the video settings. So now I've created my little sequence of captions. I'm gonna drop it on my timeline here and go all the way to the end of the sequence. And now I'm gonna create my captions. To do that, you need to go on the caption window, double click on your captions here and this will open. So here, is where you can change almost everything regarding the captions. You can write your text right here, add new captions elements, change the alignment of your caption, of your text on the screen, change characteristic of your, of your text, the color, the background color here, the color of, the, of your text, and the position of your caption within the, the frame. Let's say that you have transcribed your voiceover already, so you have everything written down. An easy way to do it is to use markers to know exactly where to add your caption. Let's see where the voiceover begins. So you need to listen to your voiceover and place markers where each sentence you want to caption are said. So let's start. It's almost like people don't choose to be artists. Turns out to be what seems to be taking all of your attention and your interest. It's quite easy to see where the text starts. So that was cool to do. Now I have done that, I'm gonna type my text. So I'm just gonna take the translation I've already done. Just gonna copy it and paste it here. Here we go, let's it's check. It's almost like people don't choose to be artists. Okay, sounds good. Obviously I'm not happy with the position of the text, so I'm just gonna change it here. And I like it right in the middle, a little bit, I think, and we're good. So you can change your background color here. If you're not happy with the black, you can go for something different. So you right, you just click on the background color icon here, and then the color icon, let's put it in gray, something. Don't, this is good, almost, we can check the position now. It's almost like people don't choose to be artists. Okay. So how do you add another text? You just click on add caption on the plus sign here. You can move the caption element right here like that on the, on the timeline. 
exactly how you want it. I think that one's gonna be a bit longer, so. Let me drop my translation here. So that's an example of a two-line subtitle. You can change the position of the whole text and the position of one line only by clicking right at the beginning of the line and changing the position. That's the way you can do that. So let's check how it goes. It's almost like people don't choose to be artists. It turns out to be what seems to be taking all of your attention and your interests. This is how you can create subtitles for your, for your video. Now, just one quick thing before I wrap up this video. When you're ready to export your file, you need to make sure, especially if you're created, creating um, closed captions, you need to make sure that the export options here are what you want. In this case, you just have one option, burn captions into video, but you can also create card files and different type of export files with closed captions. So just make sure that you check your export options for your caption here and then you're ready to export. It's always interesting to add captions to your films, to your documentaries, especially if you're creating a trailer or you, you, you've created a, a teaser for your, for your documentary film and you want to share it on, on Instagram or on, on Facebook. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. You know the deal. Like it if you, if you appreciated the video. Subscribe if you want to and um, I see you soon. It's almost like people don't choose to be artists. Turns out to be what seems to be taking all of your attention and your interests. If you honor yourself and you honor those impressions, those thoughts, those ideas that you're getting and you, and you feel that they're worthwhile and you keep exploring it and keep expressing yourself through it, you end up being an artist. My name is Keith Clifton and I'm a woodworker.